Marlo and I are finally free! driving from Parker area where we just got a whole bunch of supplies actually we've been driving around getting supplies most of the day today um, but Marlo is finally done with all of her stuff like I said in a previous few clips but I'm repeating it because <laughs> it's been a few hours and I'm just so happy about that so what we're doing now is uh, we're heading off to be free um, we've been waiting for a long time to be able to camp together so we're not gonna really go camp with anybody or anything right away we're gonna go we're gonna go find a campsite and then we're gonna just boondock together just me and her we got some really cool stuff that I'm gonna show you in uh, coming videos to make videos with you guys are gonna think it's pretty cool I, well, I do anyways um, and and yeah we got a lot of cool videos coming up me and marlo traveling together isn't that cool and and sober you cannot forget the sober good girls you good girl sober good girl yeah so on the road Woo! i'm happy and excited I got, I got Marlo, Marlo following me right behind there. You can probably see her in the side view mirror. And you know, there's also, there's also this little feeling that you get when you're totally, when your camper is full of food, um, your black tank is empty, your water, your fresh water is full, and. Um, and I filled up on propane today as well. So there's just always a really good feeling when you're just set to boondock. You can park anywhere and just be totally comfortable for a while, you know. I love it. I'm a happy, happy guy today. And today is December 8th, 2018. I'm I only have, I don't have any more hands. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hi, everybody on YouTube. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. Well, hello, YouTube. I want to show you guys Eminem's beautiful camp. Mike and Marlo, not the, not the rapper Eminem. We got this wide open space. We're out here now in court site where we would get a little bit more room um, than the last place, of course. Got all that space, look at that. And I wanna show you our awesome camp. We got solar lights all over the place. Here's one, we got a couple over there and around here. What we did that was really cool is we took a string, just like uh, the camp we had at the van build and uh, we got these light bulbs here at the 99 cent store in Lake Havasu and we staked them down. These lights are all gonna turn on at night. The rope goes all the way up there and down over here. And then we've got our fireplace over here um, we've got chairs over here and chairs in, in our little air, sitting area just so we don't have to keep moving chairs and it's pretty cool that Marlo had these extra chairs so yes. that's gonna work out great we've already got the fire set up and everything um, more solar lights here and then we've got our little courtyard right here 
with our awnings overlapping each other just a little bit. Um, Marlo's got her wind chime out and I've got my lights up here. This is just so cool. We've got fairy lights up both sides of these awning arms. Really cool. And then we've got both of our tables out right here and we've got the grill because we're going to do some grilling. Got a couple solar lights back there. And yeah, this is our setup. We've got a whole bunch of food to last us quite a while. Um, we registered at the camp host here and we're set to boondock for a while. This is just a, such a beautiful area. It's a lot warmer than like Vegas and Havasu and we're pretty happy about it. What do you think of this camp, Marlo? I love it. I think it's great. It's a great camp. I mean, we've got such beautiful views and we've got everything set up just how we want. Yep. And Sorry I disturbed you there. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, um, Sober's just hanging out and all our solar lights are charging. I've got I've got batteries charging as well for my disco lights. You guys know I'm going to bring out the disco lights. I almost have to. And we can always just walk from one person's rig right to the other one. We got plenty of shade. It's just so beautiful here and it's like the perfect temperature. These are one of the really really happy times of my life setting a marker right here. Houston, we've got a problem. Mar the back of Marlo's toilet is leaking water. Okay, YouTube, so I'm in Marlo's bathroom now. Um, I told Marlo to turn off the water uh, so the, the hoses aren't pressurized with water, and then I turn the water on, but... Oh, did you wipe the wa all the water up? No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you can see the water right here been leaking water and it is actually leaking right up here somewhere I can't reach back there right now <clears throat> I can't reach back there right now to repair it and if I try I'm probably gonna break it because it's plastic so I have to be gentle with it so I'm gonna pull this toilet off of uh, off of the seal and pull it out where I can actually work on it Okay, we just got the toilet undone here and pulled away from the wall. Um, now, Marlo, turn the water back on and we're going to find out where this leak is coming from exactly. So we got to figure out what we can do. Okay, water's on. Okay. Uh, might have to wait a minute for the leak to start again. <laughs> Private joke. Anyways, see the... See the water leak right there? Hold on, it's going to drip. Of course, it's going to take its time since the camera's on. But it's been leaking. I guess you're going to have to take my word for it. Um, I think it's coming. You point at it. Because I only have two hands. I've got the flashlight and the camera. Right there. Yep, right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to take this off to get it out of my way. So I can work on this. Marlo's kind enough to be my camera woman. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that doesn't want to come out. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I won't take it off. I don't want to. This plastic it get, can get so brittle and easily broken. Maybe we'll just tape that up there or something. I don't know. Okay, guys, I've got it off. But it's kind of strange because... There's a seal right here that should have stopped it from leaking. The seal is obviously not working. The only thing we really have is plumber's tape. So I'm going to put that around where the threads go. Since it was leaking from the top and not the bottom down here. Um, and yeah, that's going to have to do it. We'll find out. Oh, that's really dying. My flashlight's really dying. Um, all right, got the plumber's tape on, then this is gonna go on. Um, not that difficult. 
But the scary part is when we turn the water back on and see if it leaks again. Oh! Hopefully not. Oh, keep our fingers crossed! But how are we going to screw this back in if our fingers are crossed? Can I screw it in like that? It's going to be tricky, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you I'll give it a shot. You have Vulcan fingers. Vulcan fingers? Oh, with two fingers crossed? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we're going to have a lot of fingers crossed. Hold on, I'm crossing my toes right now. I'm going to have my fingers and my toes crossed about this. Okay, bye. Okay, YouTube. Woo! Just kidding. I'm not that excited. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was quite a bit of a leak underneath the toilet before we noticed it, so there's a whole bunch of water. When you push down on this tile, you can hear it. Um, it's pretty wet, so what we did was we sprayed a bunch of bleach all over it, diluted bleach. Um, then we're going to wipe that down, and then I went and grabbed this space heater right here, and we're just going to, we're just going to run the space heater for you know, a few hours, um, and get it real hot in here in the bathroom, and hopefully it dries up real nice. Luckily, we are out in the desert, so the desert has tendencies to pull all moisture right out of everything. True. <laughs> so, True. so that's also going to work for us. Peace out, guys.